Welcome to the jungle. I'm your host, Andy Garza, president and CEO of Big Gorilla Sales and Marketing Training. Here in the jungle podcast for all the hungry entrepreneurs, you'll hear firsthand experiences from business owners of how they overcame challenges on their road to success. Every week, we'll have a different business owner from every walk of life. If you want to learn more about Gorilla Marketing, visit BigGorillaMarketing.com. You can also connect with me on Facebook at Big Gorilla Marketing. Well, welcome to the jungle. I'm Andy Garza, your host, and thank you for tuning in. My guest today is Zella May from Zella May Magic. Uh, glad to have you here today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, yeah. So are we. Um, I'm going to just start out uh, from, right from the beginning. So what got you started in uh, what your line of work is? So originally, I was a music teacher and um, from Houston, and I taught about eight years in the public school system, was choir director, helped direct vocals for musical theater shows. Nice. Um, but really, it was my health. I was born with Lyme disease and had a bunch of body systems starting to really break down that led me to search for answers outside of uh, traditional medicine. So I started getting into holistic healing through all of that in my late 20s, which led me to um, getting certified in emotion code and body code and sound healing and breath work and like all the different things. And it completely turned my life around. Like it, it provided healing that I didn't know existed. And so at this point, it's, I, I love music and energy healing pretty equally. And so it's, it's my journey is about figuring out how to weave those things together in wow. different ways. Well, that is so interesting. Um, yeah. I mean, I would have never thought uh, <laughs> anything like that. That's good to hear. Um, so how, how long have you been doing this type of work? So officially had my business for three years. i uh, been practicing um, as an energy healing practitioner for about nine years. And I've been a musician since I was seven. <laughs> wow. That's actually when I started. Yeah. <laughs> Both a drummer and a guitar player since I was seven years old, performing from pretty much day one. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I could. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you still perform or just teach or? So occasionally I create more music than I perform, but I, one of my goals is to create like various albums, like probably a, a piano one. And I would love to create music that has a specific intention for healing, like certain frequencies and singing um for for like specific different purposes um so that's kind of in in the works i i just got a new microphone i have singing bowls that i use for sound healing i want to weave those in um so i have a lot of ideas with that so probably more in the creation and producing rather than live performing but i'm also open to that too wow very interesting <laughs> very interesting um what what do you got going right now that's kind of new and upcoming uh, uh that you you're you know participating in yeah so I always kind of have on the table that I offer private piano and voice coaching for ages six through adult um I also offer one-to-one -one, like intensive energy healing with emotional clearing ancestral and our child karmic um they're pretty expansive we usually release like several to many thousands of things <laughs> per session um, and then I always offer private sound healing events. So people can hire me to do a private sound healing in their home or at a studio. Um, I love doing those. I channel song with that. Uh, we do a little bit of individual energy healing, a card pull. There's like processing time for meditation and journaling. Um, and then also very, very new is I am working with homegrown homegrown hype to produce a vocal course for adults downtown South Bend. Um, so that's in the creation stage and that'll be like officially released soon. So this is like the pre pre announcement. <laughs> oh, so exciting. That's great. Um, now you mentioned that some, the music part, uh, integrating it with healing I find that very interesting. My son, my oldest son, is a record producer, 
and recording artist. And he's actually delved into the healing part really? of uh, frequencies and things yeah. like that and taught me some just really interesting a angles on how that works. Um, so I remember him talking about that. Uh, it's been a couple of years. Uh, and so when you mentioned that, I said, wow, I, I haven't thought about that since. And it, to me, that's very interesting. Uh, and a science, basically, yes. is what it is. Um, at least that's what I call it. But uh, uh, I, I really like that angle, healing, uh, being... I think everybody, you know, when music is, is very personal to everybody, you know, everybody likes different types, but it all has kind of one thing in common that uh, people use it for healing, whether it's a song. Um, and I teach that in guerrilla marketing using mm -hmm. pop culture. A lot of it has to do with songs and music from, you know, people's past that yeah. they uh, have anchored to. And I teach that as one of the techniques for guerrilla marketing. Um, that you can use so all that kind of integrated is, yeah. is so interesting to me to, to that you're into that type thing and, and studied it I'm sure um, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I just wanted to make put that out there that I know this is a real type uh, I know it's a real science it's not just yeah. uh, something that uh, you know people make up this is it has a lot of science behind it yeah so. yeah I mean it's all just based on certain frequencies and like everything has a frequency like our thoughts have a frequency each emotion each organ and gland of our body like our cells and it's it's a whole thing but just the western music tuning system is just ever so slightly off of like the natural frequencies of our body and the earth and so sound healing on a very very basic like understanding level is about shifting it back into those frequencies that our body naturally resonates and so when we sing a tone or play a tone or create music that's based on those frequencies it's those frequencies are activated again in our body and the ones that are not resonating start to just like fall away um and I don't know if anybody has watched stuff like this but if you watch videos on what different tones do to water or salt or yeah. um, sand or whatever, it creates these beautiful geometric, they, they're like different snowflakes. I've but seen them. By sound. They're, they're unbelievable. And so it does that in our body. Like, you know, even if you just look at the water, we're almost 70% water. So it's like, if it does this, it makes these beautiful crystals. What is it doing in our body? Like, it's very powerful for just like, activating that that healthy like vibrant fully alive frequency again i know there's a thing i, I can't remember the exact term of it uh, uh people who are earthers or something like that but like walking on the earth like barefoot. because the earth itself has a frequency oh yeah and you connect mm -hmm. with that literally and my daughter was uh, telling yes. me about this you you just sit outside barefooted and put your feet on the ground for like 20 minutes and you're basically soaking up or, or experiencing the earth's frequency and vibration uh, and it's supposed to help you you know heal oh yeah um, I mean, so and it's a real thing she says it does work it, yeah. it's just it freaks you out a little bit too when, it, when you do that yeah i mean if we if we just look at like animals in nature like even like our domestic animals like our dogs always want to roll around in the grass and yeah. you know jump in the water and you know we're, we're drawn to these things we, we just have so many distractions and things that kind of you know we're living in this modern modern culture or whatever but remembering that we have access to these primal like very powerful ways to reconnect us back to our body and the earth um, the earth's frequencies are called the schumann resonances and those have actually been changing like a lot since 2020 specifically wow that's yeah. just uh, that is just so interesting now for a quick break to thank our sponsors awaken marketing awaken new possibilities grinder law group small business showcase magazine celebrating the small business spirit m d advertising creations beyond expectations and big gorilla sales and marketing training bringing out your inner gorilla 
So I know you've uh, you haven't been here very long, two three yeah. years at the most. Yeah, like two and a half years. And you came from Houston. From Houston, Texas. Yep. Okay. Um, part of your story, uh, I know you've had your your own trials and tribulations, even personally, um, and uh, like every you know everybody, but everybody's unique also, right. and what they've experienced. How's that kind of uh, shaped who you are right now? Well, I feel like the last two and a half years have been about two and a half lifetimes <laughs> with how much has happened. Um, you know, I feel like with any big life change, like moving cross country, it's never quite what we expect, right? Yeah. And originally I moved up here because um, a bunch of people had found me online because I started out specifically online in 2020, um, offering energy healing sessions for people just on Zoom. And that spread, I had clients like all over the world do that. Um, but, you know, moving up here, it was a totally different, a totally different dynamic. It was more about being in the community. And one of the huge draws for me that why I said yes, moving up here is like the Midwestern community and coming from a big metropolis where there's six and a half million people to 120,000 you know, it's, it's like, oh, I can't just be like, well, I don't really like this anymore. I'll just like, you know, go over here. It's like work, working through things with people. So on a very personal relational level, like learning how to work through things and, and move through things that are uncomfortable, um, like, like conflict and, um, and all of that, but then also how to just be present and invest in a community consistently. Um, so that's been like on a personal level, one of my biggest, um, one of my biggest, this learning pieces, I guess, up here. Um, but also that a space like this is ready and wanting more people to come in and share what they have. There's not an oversaturation. So that was a huge drop too. It's like, oh, you know, my energy and different people that are really great in their fields, this is needed and wanted and the people are ready and so that was really exciting that there's this wave of progression that feels like it's been building even even since i moved here i feel that growing wow that's that's so awesome um now on on the other side we're on your music side i should say Mm -hmm. uh i know you studied music and what did you exactly study So originally when I started music, I was um, a pianist and I was super into that, was on the concert pianist track. I did competitions in high school. I practiced like three, four or five hours a day. Um, I got third place in the state of Texas when I was 16. Um, And so that was like all very exciting. And then Lyme disease sabotage that but then I ended up going to college for voice so my degree is in music education and voice um oh, and wow. like choir um so I studied that and then like have like you know quite a bit of experience with that but you know even that was like a really really hard time in my life there's a lot of grief about that um and I come from a long line of artists my like like painting and drawing artists, but also musicians. My maternal grandmother was a concert pianist. Um, And actually the piece that I competed with and won third place was something that she had played and performed with an orchestra when she was 12. (laughs) (laughs) Holy smokes, man. That is some Mm -hmm. talent there. (laughs) And I have her, um, it was the Green Piano Concerto in A minor. So I have her piece of music like framed in my home. Um, wow. like close to my piano yeah so you would call uh so that would be called classically trained you would yes. classically trained yes so. classically trained and I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding with classical music so like when I approach especially for voice people are like oh well I want to sing country or I want to sing pop or you know I do this or that and the other it's not training in a style it's grounding in what's healthy for our body And so it's like, we can tweak it into any style, but knowing where our alignment is and where, like how we're healthfully breathing, how our posture is, how we're able to shift different types of sounds and manipulate sound 
so that it feels good and sounds good, but it's also in the style that we want. So it's not just, oh, I only sing classical or I'm singing opera. It's just really healthy, grounded technique and tools. Uh, so it can be adapted to any style, yes. any genre. Yeah. Wow, that's a, mm -hmm. that's pretty interesting there. Um, okay, uh, you know, I did want to know uh, a little more in depth of what's what's next for your business. Yeah, I mean, from where you are now and what you aspire to be in the next two, three years or plus. Yeah, so I am currently, and I haven't really announced this, but I'm writing a book. Um, I'm writing a book on healing from spiritual toxicity and abuse, um, with tools like specific healing tools in it that will be integrated. There'll be like pre-recorded stuff. Um, so I'm working on that project and I would love to create like a course, um, that is for people who have gone through that and are moving past that, um, with energy healing to like, just help just re- reconfigure some of those belief systems that have been really hard to overcome or you know when people feel stuck or just really overwhelmed and not even sure how to go about healing from something like that um because I just know what I have been through um because my part of my story is I was raised in a cult so um you know just I want to use whatever I have to also help other people in that area so that's much more of like the energy healing focus right um I also have a podcast called magical meetup and we go through different um different types of healing a lot of it is spiritual healing but it's also holistic healing and just like exploring different things like it's a very my intention is that it's a very like open um like curious space of learning um I don't claim to have all the answers but it's like sharing what I'm learning like along the way um and then you know with the vocal class that's being created I really want to expand on that and be able to bring in like you know just another way of combining the music and the energy healing of okay, let's learn how to connect back to our voice, how to feel comfortable in our voice while learning healthy check technique, while, you know, having mindful practices that help us to really know ourselves. And so that when we're singing, when we're creating, it's coming from a more authentic place and we're able to go to that space much more easily and we feel more comfortable doing it. Wow, that's, uh, we got it right down to the, <laughs> or the science there. That's That's awesome. Um, okay. And kind of the last question here, yeah. uh, any words of wisdom that you might have for somebody who wants to, uh, pursue the same type of work you're doing? I think just approaching things from a space of like playfulness and curiosity is like one of the best things because, you know, music can get really intense <laughs> and like healing can get super intense and it's not negating that or denying that those like deep dark moments of the soul aren't there but sometimes we can kind of get real stuck in that or feel like we're staying too long and so approaching things of like I'm going to experiment I'm just going to try this like there's no commitment there's nothing that feels scary just like I'm going to try this and explore and see how I feel notice what I what happens I'm going to try this technique or I'm going to try this way of creating music and just it feels more flowy it feels less stressful um so just approaching it from that more open space i think allows us to have more freedom as we're figuring things out nice really nice well that's very good i mean i i uh i was very excited to talk to you <laughs> um because i knew you had some things in you that uh, i really wanted to know more about so um Next thing is, I'd like to have you share how to get a hold of you if somebody needs your services. Where can they find you? Yeah, so my website is zellamemagic.com, and that's magic with a K. Um, I list everything that I do on there. Um, you can also find my podcast, uh, Magical Meetup, on Spotify. That's where it's produced. And my email is zella.may.magic at gmail.com so you can always email me okay very well. good thank you for coming to uh and sharing what you've uh shared with us today yes uh, it's been you. certainly a pleasure um but 
anyways, uh, that's our show for today. And uh, certainly appreciate you tuning in. And we'll uh, talk to you next time. If you want to learn more about guerrilla marketing, visit biggorillamarketing.com. You can also connect with me on Facebook at Big Gorilla Marketing. To thank our sponsors, Awaken Marketing, Awaken New Possibilities, Grinder Law Group, Small Business Showcase Magazine, celebrating the small business spirit, M&D Advertising, Creations Beyond Expectations, and Big Gorilla Sales and Marketing Training, bringing out your inner gorilla.